Finally in Wales! Uh, once again, feels good to be here. I'm with someone called Jay today. We're just out looking for a camping spot where we can kayak also. Um, but the water levels are really low since it's basically middle of May. So we're here just at the Usk. Usk? Usk? To have a look at the water levels to see if any kayaking can actually be done here. And so far, it actually doesn't look too bad. That's Jay. Uh, so if the Usk has enough water, we're going to try and find a camping spot next to the Usk and then tomorrow morning other people are joining us and we're kayaking down the Usk <laughs> certainly some nice flow going on in the Usk our backup river was the Tawi just because it's further into Wales but the Usk looks promising so Tawi Valley might have to wait for later in the summer that's pretty deep yeah. <laughs> Just woken up, and what a beautiful view to wake up to. Tally's nice and calm here, just flowing along. So, originally last night we were checking out the Usk, looking for enough water to kayak, and there was enough water. Sadly, though, the Usk appears to run along the A40. The majority of the time, it exists. We're trying to find a wild camping spot along the Usk, found one good spot, then realized that every five seconds or so, you can hear cars zooming up and down the A40, um, which was horrible in the quiet. I mean, compared to the beautiful noises here, the beautiful lack of noise here, uh, that was just horrible. We got to basically about midnight by the time we checked out two or three spots. And yeah, just decided that if we keep looking for more spots along the Usk, we're gonna end up, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna end up in the morning still not having a spot. So, we decided to abandon the Usk. Come to this beautiful part of the Tawi where I was pretty confident we'd be happy. I mean, what's not to be happy about? Look at it here. The amount of bird life is just amazing. We're all set up. We're all set up. We have one kayak in the water. Me and Jay are about to board this kayak, the old Wabash, Sevilo Wabash. Um, yeah, this is the camp spot where I'm not going to show too much of it because we've got to catch up to the other kayak. Huh? Cool, so we're off. We're into the water. Woo! Uh, oh, paddle! Just passing the day where we took off in 2018 here. Yeah? Uh, coming up with us. Rapids, yeah, the rapids that tipped us over. Let's hope for better luck this time.
doing great so far. Haven't tipped at all. Um, yeah, just approaching this nice little bend. The mighty gorge that me and Snake were staring at from up there but had no time to complete due to the hike to the car and such We just did it! It was intense! That rock right there our nose was literally headed right for us for it before a quick swift turn of the hips evaded it but yeah check out this gorge it's just beautiful so high so high up wow, look at that amazing huge rock just coming down the gorge Impressive landing. Uh oh, got some rock trees here. So I'm gonna put the camera away and get back to navigating. Look at that, what a beautiful hillside. <laughs> Just blew all the way up. Kayaking was a success. We're back now, heading towards the camp. And then I'm gonna start a fire and make a coffee. Yeah. Alright, so we're just preparing a camp fire. What? The louder one? Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Natural soil, organic. 10 pounds. So, natural Welsh lawn. I sell these for 10 pounds a roll. Just contact me via YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh so yeah, that was the fireplace you just seen me making. Here it is. Uh, my leave no trace fireplace 5000. Oh wow. <laughs> As I talk here, there's a stampede across the river. I do exaggerate a lot, don't I? Uh, but wow, look at all those sheep just going home, I hope. Or somewhere. They seem to know where they're going, though. <laughs> that just across the river, where that sheep is getting to right now, is actually the spot where I was laying around on February-ish, March-ish. Um, yeah, but look at this view to my left, if we just follow this sheep trail and then look up, look at that, thank god the exposure sorted itself out, but man is that beautiful. There's the sheep crew, so yeah, I'm here with Jay in wonderful wonderful part of Wales that I keep going back to. People who watch this channel must really think that 
I just have no idea that this Wales is bigger than this little area because I keep ending up here, but man, do I love it here. Um, yeah, we were looking for a spot on Yusk last night. We were looking so hard, we stopped in so many places, ended up here. I mean, isn't it just amazing? I'm just going to shut up for a little bit and let you listen to the birds. Yeah. It is amazing here. Some rubbish in the stream. That's not us. Well, the cool bag. The blue thing there is mine. It's a cool bag. The red and yellow thing in the stream. I'm going to pick up before we leave. That's my setup over there. It's a bit all over the place as we recently came back from kayaking and I've just been sorting things out and stuff. That's a Coleman Cobra. Jay's pretty light tent. <laughs> and this five star hotel to the right is the third person's. <laughs> it's huge. So fire's burning down. I'm not sure what we're gonna cook. But we're gonna be cooking something soon. There's beautiful babbling of this stream as well. Right next to us. I did set up on my one man island over here. I mean, this bay is just amazing. It's like it's made for camping. I mean, I've never seen a person on it. So. Day two is in. I've just woken up, just enjoying this beautiful view. So the plan for today is to drive somewhere and climb some sort of mountain and look for a reservoir at the top of it. I'll try and show you all the good views along the way. So here's breakfast. Got a unmixed salad with boiled eggs. Should be lovely. Yeah, up to the mountains next.
climb a mountain, look for some reservoirs on top or lakes or something. Uh, yeah, should be good. Quite an, looks like quite an easy trail. Lovely stream here. Just looking up this mountain now. Some amazing red stripes running down there. I'm not sure what they are. Maybe rock fall areas or something. It's really cool from down here. made it the first bit of water up here the views are great around here i mean we're in the brecon beacons or whatever they're called the national park um the views are amazing but man i feel like i'm in, back in london uh with the amount of people i'm surrounded by crew over there the car park is full all the way up and down the path people are going up and down mm, yeah that makes sense yeah just so busy here no wonder i always go right through the brecon beacons and get the hell out the other side to <laughs> the nice parts of wales the secluded parts yeah but yeah but the views are bloody beautiful helps you ignore the people <laughs> Is off to look for the second bit of water. Not sure how, but we'll find it. rocks and up around a corner somewhere up there regular from far away but now that people are here right you can really see how huge they are wow yeah let's get closer hello yeah this park is pretty cool huge rocks
There's the second bit of water. So we're here at this trick point, I believe. Name dropping since I just learned the name of these things. Wow. Yeah. Well, there they go. Apparently, having fun getting wet. Go the ice! Yep. That looks fun. Whatever you enjoy, I guess. I want to wait down now. It's beautiful views. Cool. What a beautiful green color here in between all these bleak mountains. Lovely. Catching up to us. We have sun and blue skies here, and pure hell over here that we're running away from. Yeah, a couple of beautiful rainbows there in the hellstorm. Looking lovely. I can feel the cold and the wind. Coming out of that darkness. So getting away from the rain quite well. Can't even see the dark clouds anymore. But look at this landscape. It's so beautiful. I hope the sun isn't messing it all up. Feels like it might be. Wow, look at those triangle formations there. How beautiful is that? Some amazing landscaping by the local giants here. A storm has stayed behind us. Earlier, we actually walked along just next to those formations, and then we we went up this little path. That was where we crossed the rocks, the very steep part, the huge rocks above us. I went up. Oh wow, that rainbow's caught off of me. Lovely hike. Still have a mile or two to go to the car park. But generally, it's been fun. It's been beautiful and stunning. Hey.
in Wales. <laughs> Not to sound like I'm making an advert or slogan, but if you know if the Wales Tourist Board is watching and you're interested in that slogan, which has now my IP, uh, you know, contact me through YouTube. We'll come up with a deal. What was it? I forgot. Crap. So. We've left the shores of once again on our second kayak voyage of this trip on the River Usk. Never been down this river before, so I'm just hoping for the best. Pretty shallow waters, so most of the fun rapids will probably not be that fun. Uh, yeah, I'll update you on the way. But what a beautiful spot we took off from. And here we are under the canal bridge. There's actually water on that bridge, like a canal running across the bridge ahead and people walking. Lovely wide river. Beautiful trees. back at camp. Another day of kayaking, it was pretty fun. Uh, the Usk was, that part of the Usk was very still to be fair, so we had a lot more fun on the Tawi. But yeah, we're back now, just chilling at camp, enjoying the fire. There's Jay chilling. <laughs> Probably gonna go to bed soon, so we'll see you in the morning for some more mountain hiking. Over and out. Good night, everyone. <laughs>